Welcome back to Dee's Kitchen. Today we are making fermented jalapeno peppers because I bought a bushel of jalapenos and I made a bunch of pickled jalapenos, but I still have a lot of peppers left over. So today we decided we would go ahead and found some different recipes online. And so we're just gonna try to ferment some. And this recipe, I'm just using the half gallon glass jars and we are, I layered them, and as you can see, the stars all done already. Um, we layered some red onions, and we'll layer those in next. Just slice them up a little bit. I put three red onions, one full bulb of garlic per jar, and about 12 to 15 jalapenos sliced in circles. And I seeded them because all of these other things that I made do not, still have seeds and they're hot. So this I'm seeding, and we'll see how that turns out. And so we will go ahead and get our garlic in there. Got it sliced up, and I just kind of layered, you know, cut everything up, and then I just layered onions and garlic and the peppers. Onions, garlic, peppers, onions, garlic, and more peppers. We're going on the top here. We'll smoosh them in there, as many as we can get, because they will shrink up over the first couple days once the brine's in there. couple more so I just slice them I got rid of the bottom piece and then I just slice away wearing gloves obviously because they're very hot and then I found it wasn't too hard just with your thumb just to shake the seeds out of the circles this way because I didn't know how to get them out and keep circles because I really wanted to look like little coins in there so I guess I got it pretty full so I don't think I need any more but but that worked out pretty good for me. And I guess I can fit a couple more in there. So I just smushed them out with my thumbnail and shook it a little bit. Stuff it in there. And there's that. Okay, so that one's full. Now I have my brine. There's four cups of water to three tablespoons of kosher salt. And we're showing all of our items used. This is it. Peppers, onions, garlic. Not that much, obviously, for one jar. And then um, the four cups to three tablespoons of kosher salt. I warmed it up a little bit so that it would melt the salt in there, make a brine. Well, I'm making a mess. A little slower here. Hopefully this is enough. Or I didn't fill that jar very full of veggies. This one here, I actually had a little brine left over from my um, cowboy caviar. So I actually dumped the little bit that was left in that jar. All right, just perfectly. Already smooshed in some more. I'm using my springs. I really like those for fermenting. My fermentation lids. Seal it up. And you can see how pretty it is. Not quite sure how long this one's gonna take to ferment, but we're gonna check it in probably about a week. I'll give it a check and see if it's looking like it's fermented enough. Probably I would say a good two weeks, maybe three, would be my goal time to double check it. So I think um, that's all you're gonna do, and we'll see how it goes. And we'll try to remember to come back and add a little note at the bottom when these are done, tell you how long it took since it's a new recipe I've never tried before. Have a great day. Thanks for looking and bye.